Hello guys, this is Brad again, and what I did was I put together a little uh, top 10 list of sporty fragrances that I enjoy. I don't really think I've seen uh, this topic done before on YouTube, but I think it's kind of a helpful thing because personally, I really like sporty fragrances. I enjoy playing tennis. I like fragrances that are kind of light, citrusy, have that sporty feel about them. So I assembled a list of 10 fragrances that I think kind of uh, represent that type of feel, in my opinion, on every fragrance that has the word sport on the bottle is necessarily sporty and vice versa. There are a lot of great fragrances that don't have a sporty label but are kind of sporty to my nose. So from my experience, here are 10 that I chose. Number 10, a perfect example of a fragrance that is labeled sporty but not really that sporty, DRM Sport. I put it low because even though it's a good fragrance, I don't find it overly sporty. A little bit too heavy on the ginger. Number nine, Cartier Roadster Sport. Uh, number nine uh, was that one because um, I'm still not really sure about this one. I, I just recently got a small bottle. Find it a little very light, and uh, I need more testing and time with this one to see how it really performs. I work wants to work. Could hardly smell it. Number eight. This one's actually pretty good. Andy Roddick Cologne. Um, just a very nice sporty musk scent with some spicy pear, um, pretty cheap, and just you know, pretty much just that classic sporty smell to it. Number seven is a new one that I've been checking out, Armani Coat Sport. Not the most uh, exciting fragrance, but um, gets the job done. It's like a gingery citrus fragrance. Number six, the flanker of Chrome. Chrome Sport has sort of a grassy feel to it, kind of nice as a sporty fragrance in my opinion. Number five, I have uh, Chanel Allure Ohm Sport. I know a lot of people really adore this one. But it does seem like this fragrance is losing some of its steam and hype as of late. Um, I liked it for a while. Um, somebody at work told me it was kind of girly. It is kind of heavy on the orange blossom, orange blossom and aldehydes. So I could give that one number five. Um, I haven't been reaching for that one very much. Number four, um, and I think Hugo Boss is really good for sporty fragrances. So I'm going to start with, you know, one of their newer ones that I think is pretty good, XY. It's a good sporty citrus fragrance. Number three, another Hugo Boss fragrance called Energize. I think that one's a little bit more interesting than XY and another good sporty option. Number two, one of my personal favorites is uh, Xenia Z. Not a lot of love for Xenia fragrances, but I think Z is a really good one um, for sporty needs. And number one, I put Hermes Voyage de Hermes. Now, there is some controversy as to whether or not this one's sporty or not. I know Katie Petrick did sort of imply that it has a sporty feel to it. And I agree. It's a very classy sort of a sporty feel, but it is sporty. And I think, you know, if you didn't mind spending the money, it would be a great one to wear um, as a sporty fragrance. So those are ten. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about my list and which one's that you reach for when you want a sporty fragrance. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.